It was a death that sparked global protests and outrage. Four years ago, George Floyd, a black man, was killed by a white police officer, Derek Chauvin, who knelt on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes. A bystander recorded it on a cell phone. The footage quickly went viral. Protests erupted in the U.S. city of Minneapolis and were quickly followed by similar demonstrations in cities across the country. Many turned violent. The police station where the officers worked was set on fire. Shops, businesses and homes were also destroyed. Chauvin's arrest a few days later did little to calm the anger. Floyd's death prompted calls for action against police brutality and racial discrimination. And we want justice for George Floyd, and that is at the top of our list of things. Uh, and a lot of us are willing to risk our lives to make that happen. We need a new law passed. We want justice. We want, the, we want the police to obviously pay for their sins, for what they committed, th this monstrosity over here. Almost 10 months later, Chauvin's trial begins in Minneapolis amid tight security and high emotions. Oh my. Uh. He does not testify. I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. After a three-week trial and 10 hours of deliberation, the jury finds him guilty on all counts. Find the defendant guilty. Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison. Floyd's death did bring change. More than 30 states passed reform laws that made policing more accountable, with some banning the use of neck restraints. But federal efforts to reform policing, including the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, have stalled. The US Congress reintroduced the bill this month, although in 2022, President Joe Biden did sign an executive order in an effort to bring some reform to policing. But recent high-profile deaths of black men and women while in police custody have again raised concern and debate. The truth is they were facts that racism exists in the police force and how the police purposely would seek out brown and black people. What they need to do now is come up with a team and start putting things in order. The events of 2020 in Minneapolis shook the world, but the fight for change continues. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.